Just a week ago, Blumhouse and Universal dropped the teaser for Wolfman, but they kept the monster itself out of sight. However, we did get our first look when the actor took the stage for a photo op fully in character. The new Wolfman is a gnarly creature with a balding head, long white hair trailing down the back, and scraggly facial hair to match. He's got long, bony fingers and sharp teeth. Naturally, the design sparked mixed reactions online. Some loved it, others weren't impressed. The film drops in January, and it's being hyped as the big return to the glory days of Monsters franchise by Universal. This was the first true cinematic universe long before it was trendy, where movies were directly linked and characters crossed over in multiple projects. Universal was ahead of its time and their classic monster films are absolute gems of cinema. Countless modern directors and writers have drawn inspiration from these iconic movies. The studio execs today know exactly what kind of goldmine they're sitting on, ready to remind everyone who did it first, especially now when every company is racing to build their own franchise. Back in 2014, Universal had massive plans to launch The Dark Universe, a series of remakes of their classic monster films. They reportedly sank around 800 millions into it, with A-list stars attached like Johnny Depp, Javier Bardem, and Russell Crowe. Tom Cruise was set to kick things off with The Mummy, but it flopped hard, failing to spark any real interest. With that disaster, The Dark Universe collapsed after just one movie. But still, The Dark Universe could have a bright future ahead. In 2020, the low-budget The Invisible Man by Lee Wannell managed to satisfy the studio. The film portrayed a man with a fragile mental state who plunges into darkness. The creators infused the plot with modern technology, giving the concept a refreshing twist that resonated with audiences, allowing it to rake in over $150 million on a mere $7 million budget. Now, Wannell is returning to the monster genre with a new take on Wolfman. The film is already complete. As the director mentioned in a recent interview with Empire, Wolfman will serve as a thematic companion piece to The Invisible Man. This doesn't mean the projects are connected in any significant narrative way, but rather they share ideas and vibe elements, or maybe Universal is just hesitant to make bold claims about a larger franchise right now. Given their experience with the Dark Universe, any producer would jump at the chance to greenlight smaller budget films. So freed of official cinematic franchise obligations, the studio tried a different tack. Just make some monster movies that work, maybe with an up-and-coming auteur. Over time, if audience interest is evident, they could scale up productions and attract bigger name actors. This kind of strategy was evident evident to the authors even during the production of Wolfman. Originally, Ryan Gosling was set to take the lead role, but he dropped out of the project. Reports suggest that budget issues were the cause. You can't blame Universal too much. They poured a lot of money into The Mummy and tried to compete with Marvel by making the dark universe more fantasy and epic, but it just didn't pan out. However, Lee Wannell's new approach leans heavily into intimacy and realism. Producer Ken Cow explained whether The Wolfman would tie into Universal's previous plans for the Dark Universe. According to him, it's all in the hands of the studio executives. He also compared The Mummy to the MCU, while likening Wolfman to something more akin to Joker or Logan. This means the epic scale and pomp will take a backseat as we focus on a more localized story. The plot of Wolfman will be set in the present day and center around a man from San Francisco named Blake. After his father mysteriously disappears, Blake inherits a remote house in rural Oregon. With his marriage on the rocks, he convinces his wife and daughter to join him for a much-needed getaway. However, their peace will be short-lived. Upon their arrival, they will be attacked by a mysterious creature, forcing them to barricade themselves inside the house. As night falls, Blake will begin to exhibit increasingly strange behavior, transforming into something unrecognizable. His wife will then face the chilling dilemma of deciding whether the entity lurking within their home is more dangerous than the threats that lie outside. This intense setup promises to explore themes of fear and the complexities of the human psyche, setting the stage for a gripping and unsettling tale. Christopher Abbott will take on the role of Wolfman. While all the details of the script are being kept under wraps, it's clear that it won't be fully based on the canonical story. In the original plot, an engineer named Lawrence Talbot becomes the Wolfman after saving a woman from a wolf attack at night, only to be bitten during the struggle. It's later revealed that he's cursed, and each full moon, Larry transforms into a wild, uncontrollable monster. He desperately seeks a way to rid himself of this curse. But the battle with his inner demon and external threats leads to tragic consequences. The very first movie from 1941 takes place in the early half of the 20th century, closer to the 20s. The latest remake in 2010, starring Benicio del Toro, shifted the setting to Victorian England. Yet, in all adaptations, Lawrence becomes the Wolfman after being bitten by a wolf. Expect something similar in the upcoming movie. Filming for the remake primarily took place in New Zealand, which boasts dense forests, rivers, and lakes. The frequent fog, especially in the mountainous areas and 
near the coast, undoubtedly worked in the favor of cinematographer Stefan Duccio. This atmospheric setting not only enhances the new Wolfman's eerie vibe, but also mirrors the psychological turmoil of the protagonist. With its rich landscape serving as both a beautiful backdrop and a character in itself, the film aims to create a sense of isolation and dread. Abbott's portrayal promises to delve deep into the complexities of fear and transformation, setting the stage for a fresh yet haunting reimagining of the Wolfman legend. As audiences anticipate this new take, the blend of classic themes with modern storytelling techniques could very well breathe new life into this iconic tale of horror. Stay tuned!